Okay, whoa, that looks insane. That looks absolutely incredible. Wow, look at that guy. Yo guys, what is up? It is me, Carboom here, back with another Roblox video, and today I'm on Accelerate V4 once again because a pretty large update has dropped just a couple of days ago, and it includes a brand new Auto Shop. The Auto Shop has been redesigned. It is looking fan flipping tastic, and there is some temporary updates that I'm not too keen on. I mean, it's on a temporary. Uh, that's really, really good. So already. As you can probably tell, there's some weird um, yellow and black stripey things in the spawn. So basically, these are just saying that the mountain area is temporarily gone, and so is the junkyard area. And this means that there's no mountains. The entire map is literally flat, apart from that weird black thing over there. But right now, my car is back to being blue and black. If you can't remember, it used to be red and black. That's because of the auto shop. The new auto shop they reset every single car so all of your cars that you customized before have completely been reset you still have your cars they look like they first did when you first bought them so i'm not sure i want to make mine look so so cool because there is some new options that come with this new auto shop but i'm just going to show you the map right now anyway but this is temporary so this is not going to stay like this it is going to be changed back hopefully or maybe even uh, made better this just looks so funny with the bridge. And yeah, the whole map is flat right now. All of the dealerships that used to be on top of the mountain, like this, uh, like that supercar dealership where I got my Bugatti from, is now flat on the ground over here. So right now, this is all just temporary. So that is not too, too bad. So, But I'm going to head over to the auto. The main thing that's come with this update, it looks absolutely fantastic. I've tried it out a little bit just looking into it. It looks really, really cool. There are some new options, including wraps that you can now put on your car. And they look flipping fantastic. I'm pretty sure new wraps will come later on in the future. But right now, even the name has changed for this. It's now Moxie's Paint and Restoration. So right now, it definitely looks different. There is a different design, obviously, from the old one. It com looks completely different. It's much, much bigger. And there is a bigger door. Uh, so, there's, as you can see, there's three doors here, one, two small ones, and one big one. The big one is, I believe, you can customise fire engines. So, that will be so, so cool. I will have to test that out in another video, possibly. But, I'm going to head into a little door right now and see what I can do. So, in here, there's multiple um, areas that you can go into. So, I'm going to enter one here. So, it looks really, really cool. It looks like there's robotic arms in here that will co uh, colour your car for you. So, here it says press to exit. And I think they're still using the same type of click thing um, on that. Yep, they are. So you just click on what you want to paint, I guess. But uh, they've also added something where if you press shift, you can collect, you can select different ones um, all together. Like before, you had to uh, click each one and then color them individually. But now, if you hold shift, you can collect. You can click all of them, and yeah, you can color them at the same time, which is so much better. The only thing that I wish they added was a color all button or something like that so you could select your entire car to color everything basically because as you know there is no select all button um so yeah i guess it, it is a bit better but i don't know i wish they'll add that in the future but right now i'm gonna select all of this um the blue bit i think because i actually first let's take a look at the new wraps so already we have paint we have material we have reflectance and we have transparency transparency but all these were here before. The new thing is down here, the wraps. So let's take a look at wraps. Right now, there's only three by the looks of it. Um, there's a Galaxy series, a Colourable series, and a Basic series. So I'm guessing what this means is that you can colour it uh, to what you want to colour it, and it still stays as a pattern. But I think, I don't know, that is a lot of money to pay, 300000 But I think I'm going to go for the Galaxy uh, one. Because that looks absolutely insane. So I've purchased that for 150,000. So I'm going to select all of this blue, I think, if I can. Uh, let's, let's see. I'll be back one second when I've selected them all. Okay, so I've got all of the blue selected where I want to change it to the wrap. Then I'm going to click back on the wraps and maybe it will change, hopefully. And then apply. And apparently I don't have enough cash. Um, I have 58 million, sir. Um, I don't know what you uh, mean. Okay, whoa, that looks insane. Okay, I'm going to apply that. 
Okay, I'm just going to exit out now. That looks absolutely incredible. Wow, look at that, guys. That's crazy. I haven't seen anything like this in a car game so far. Flipping wraps. The only thing that I've seen close to this is vehicle simulator with their materials. Uh, but this is just crazy. They call it materials, but it's wraps. But yeah, this is so, so cool. The wrap on this looks absolutely crazy. And obviously, you can do so much with these wraps there's so much stuff that you can do now but apart from the differences between the old one and the new one there hasn't been that much that's changed the only thing that's changed is wraps and the whole design of it and obviously the shift thing that allows you to shift them all together but apart from that not much has changed not the much that i've seen so far anyway there is a little design difference as in there's materials that anyone can get up here and premium materials which is a game pass which i have apart from that that's all that's really changed just the design of it that's all that i've really seen that has changed to be honest with the new uh, sort of garage pass sort of thing so i don't know maybe there might be something that i'm missing maybe there is but apart from that not much has really changed but nonetheless this is such a cool update and it's just been one that's been waiting like one that's been needed for a long, long time because a lot of people were complaining about the customization and all that. So I guess it is a welcome change and it is so much better than the old one in every way, really. But you can now paint a flipping fire engine, which I'll be doing in a future video if you guys want me to do that. Because I think that would absolutely be absolutely crazy to do. I mean, a flipping fire engine. And then even the future jobs that are coming, you'll still be able to paint them as well, most likely. It's going to be so, so, so cool. And another thing that I actually noticed, there's obviously been some minor map improvements. Uh, just adding some trees, I guess. Uh, some trees along here. Um, a couple of trees there. But another thing that I've noticed, the pier has completely gone now. Um, before they had this little construction tape up and the pier was still there. But now it has completely gone. And so has the water by the looks of it. So there's a lot of stuff that is changing in Accelerate. And I can't wait to see what actually changes. It's going to be absolutely crazy. Also, another thing that has changed, the American dealership has been moved ever so slightly. It used to be just here, I believe. Um, and now it's just there. So it has not a big move, but it has moved nonetheless. Also, the highway has completely been redone. It looks, obviously, it's still a road. I mean, you can't really change much of the road. But it definitely, definitely looks different. And I think it looks so much better now. But like I said before, the junkyard, which was just here, has gone as well temporarily. I'm not sure why. Maybe it was due to some lag I'm not too, too sure. I'm not a games developer, but yeah, as you can tell, the complete there's still some of the arrows and tracks left that was there before, but apart from that, it's completely gone. So I'm not too, too sure why it has gone, but like it says there, temporary, so that it's not going to, it will come back eventually. Along with over here, so the trees that were here have gone as well, along with the red bridge that was there. Someone did comment in one of my videos saying that they did not see the red bridge and it has gone, I believe, temporarily because they only changed it a couple of, um, like an update ago. So it is gone temporarily, I believe. It will be coming back soon. I should hope anyway, because if it doesn't come back, then you don't have to drive all the way over there just to go there to the city. So it definitely will be missed if it does not come back how else should i customize my car in the brand new customization update because there is a lot more that i can do now especially with the wraps that are in i could make my entire car a galaxy car which would look pretty cool including the rims i wonder how that would turn out even if you can put wraps on the rims i'm not too too sure but right here there is literally no road it looks really really weird i have to admit um, I'm not too, too sure why they've done this. If there's anyone that knows 100% why they have made it so it's weird like this, how they've removed all the main hills, uh, definitely leave it in the comments below because I'm really confused on why they've done this. But guys, do you like the brand new customization update? If you do play Accelerate, do you like it? Do you prefer the old one? Because I definitely prefer the new one. It just feels so much better. There is some improvements that they could do to it by adding a select all button. But apart from that, I think it is really, really, really cool. But guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure to do so. And hit that bell icon so you don't miss a video or live stream by me. And guys, as always, there is more to come from me in the future. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you all next time. Bye, guys.